Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to focus on gain. Sometimes when you're mixing or uh, producing or recording, you find that your levels are going red or maybe you're feeling like your volume is not good enough. Gain has a lot to do with that and gain is normally confused with volume. I'm going to start by defining gain and then I can focus on the subtopics that are linked to gain. I've put timestamps so you can always skip to the topic that you feel like you'd like to learn. What is gain? Gain is the amplification of an audio signal which gives it strength and increases the volume. It's the difference between the input and the output volume or rather the ratio between the input and the output. Gain also, unlike volume, changes the tone of a signal. Volume only changes the loudness. Volume is what you hear on your speakers, but gain is what goes in so that you can hear on speakers. Volume is what you hear maybe when you're driving your car and you're uh, increasing and lowering your volume or when you're working on your project and you're adjusting your volume knob on your interface, that is volume because you're adjusting the loudness. Gain is very important, especially when you are recording music because it enables you to record healthy signals whereby if you record with the right gain levels, you can leave enough headroom for you to be able to process that signal further. Now, looking at input gain, and I will look at it in form of when you're recording. For example, when you're using your microphone, microphone normally has very low level of gain, so it has to be amplified. When you're recording a microphone, the first stage it goes is your audio interface or preamplifier. When you plug your XLR on this port here, which is a preamplifier, that signal from the microphone, which is very weak, is normally amplified. And now you use this knob to adjust the level of gain or the strength of your signal that comes in. Some of them have color indicator, which shows the color as it goes in. So if it is green, it shows it's healthy, but as it goes to red, it shows it goes to danger points where your signal can clip or get distorted. Once you input with healthy signal, your recording is going to be healthy and maybe you will have enough headroom for further processing. If you are using the DAW, you can also adjust your gain from there. For example, I'm using Logic here and you can see with this waveform here is an audio file of a guitar. You can see here it has healthy volume here. If I want to adjust the gain of this, and also, unlike volume, gain changes the waveform. It either increases it or decreases it. It means it changes the character of that signal. I'll go here on uh, logic and there is a gain here where I can adjust. Please keep an eye on this waveform. Look, as I increase the gain, the waveform increases. And watch here now, watch on the volume meter here. Can you see? I'm now going on dangerous levels where I'm going to be in danger of clipping or distorting. So if I lower it, okay, so the difference is if I, if I adjust this volume knob here, keep an eye on the waveform and you'll see it's not going to change. It's not changed. It's just changing the loudness. So sometimes if you're recording signal and it's not really well amplified, you can always adjust the gain. Also on Logic, you can just put a plugin, which is called gain. Go to utility, you go to gain, you can just adjust the gain there. I've mentioned the word headroom like three times when I was defining gain. Headroom is where when you record your signal, you leave room for the signal to breathe. Okay, maybe your your gain signal is at minus 10 and the clipping uh, point is at 0 dB. 
that means you have 10 dB of headroom. So that's where that this is called headroom. There's, there's a head and then there's a room. So you have that healthy room to add any plugin that you want because plugins, they do add gain as well. So this brings me to the topic of gain staging. So what is gain staging? Gain staging, like the word says, each stage in which the signal passes through, then the levels are normally altered. Let's say, for example, you're recording a vocal and after it goes into your preamp, before it goes to the converter or your DAW, it goes through hardware compressor or EQ or any other processing unit before you record it in. So those are chains or stages that the signal passes through before it's recorded. And each stage that the signal passes through, there is a high chance that the gain is affected or the levels are affected. So either when it passes through a compressor, maybe the gain levels go down or maybe they've been, been increased. So gain staging means in each stage that the signal passes through, you need to be able to adjust in a way that before it goes to the other stage, the gain levels are healthy from there to the other. Okay. It also applies to plugin. I'm going to show you in logic again. Gain staging happens before the signal is recorded and after it's recorded. So when you're processing your signal, let's say when you are mixing your files or producing, you have a tendency to use plugins. I'm going to use a channel link EQ on that, for example, and maybe decide to give it a high pass filter. Anytime I apply any moves on a plugin, I affect the gain. So maybe I do a high pass. I do a notch here, bring it down. Okay. And you can see when I bring it down, keep an eye on this one. If I bring it down, you can see it's going, I'm reducing the volume or rather the gain. So you can, if I bring it up, I'm adding the volume there. You can see there. So let's say I bring it down there and I maybe I raise it a little bit there. Even though it's just a little band here, it was on zero dB and now it's on minus six dB. So I've taken down by six dB. And then up here, I've added 0 0.9 dB. So you have to do those calculations. So I'll say 0 0.9 dB is almost like almost nothing. So let's say we have minus, maybe minus 5 dB. Keep that in mind. I'm going to bypass my EQ and keep an eye on this one. So you see I'm on minus 10.2 dB. And if I activate the EQ, keep an eye on this. You see? I've gone down with 0.6 dB, okay? So it means I've lost 0.6 dB. I can either leave it like that and maybe decide, you know what, I'm okay with losing that because it's also enhanced the tone of my, my sound. Or I come here and I compensate what I've lost with just a touch of minus 6 dB. Gain reduction, I've done it on the EQ that I showed you there. I'm going to show you what gain reduction is again on this compression here. So gain reduction by definition is just as the word says, reducing, reducing the gain. So anytime you apply any plugin and maybe you're doing on the compression, you're trying to level the dynamics is a high chance that you're going to lose gain. A good example is on drums because it has, it's quite percussive and it has high dynamics. If I put this compressor on the drum file here and I'm trying to gain reduce, I'm trying to bring down the peaks. So bringing down the peaks basically is like bringing down the very loud peaks of that drum kit. What I've done is I've done a very hard compression. My volume peaks are coming down. So I want us to do the same thing we did with the EQ. Please watch here. I'm going to bypass that compression plugin and watch these levels first. So you take a pen and you just write what's there. So what's the, the input gain is 4.2, okay? And you can also see it there. This is input gain and this is output gain. So let's see. 
So it's 4.2. And then when we activate the, the when we activate the compressor, let's read and see what's gonna be. It's five minus 5.4. If we subtract that, it's gonna be so we've lost 1.2 decibels. So what we're going to do, either leave it like that, or we come here to the makeup gain. That's where now the makeup gain works. We can add what we've lost, which is 1.2. But you see, as much as I've added the amount of gain which you've lost, it's still gone up. So we can either take it down or keep it there, which is still a healthy level. So that's what gain staging is. You make sure you're aware of your input and output. And you see now we've done the gain. Our gain there was 1.2 because it's a difference between the input and the output and our difference was one point minus 1.2 which is our gain all right so when you're doing compression when you hear gain reduction that's what it means you reduce that gain so that's the gain reduction that you've done all right i hope that's brought clarity to you if not please put your questions down here to summarize my video i defined the word gain which is the amplification of your input signal, which strengthens your signal where, whereby it increases or decreases your volume. Gain normally changes the tone of your signal. Unlike volume, volume only changes the loudness. It can either be loud or quiet. And volume is normally just an output which goes to your speakers where you now monitor. A healthy gain is very important because it allows you to have a balanced mix where you hear there is cohesion and there is space for you to be able to hear your instruments and be able to make clear decisions and also work efficiently. As much as when we are mixing our music or recording, we think a step ahead where we think about, I gotta put this compression, I'm going to put this. I think things like gain are very important that we always omit them and yet we get in trouble when you're mixing. And something as simple as gain can make and break your mix. I hope you've understood about gain reduction, uh, gain staging. Is sometimes these words mean exactly what they say. Please share this video if you feel it has been helpful. And thank you again for watching. Keep producing.